11 useful RV products under 11 bucks. That's what we're talking about today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me here. 11 RV products under 11 bucks. That's what it's all about. We're gonna be moving fast. If you wanna reference any of these products, but we're going too fast, fear not because there's a link in the comments and the description section that you can bookmark and it'll land you back to all of these 11 products. First up though, an over the sink drying rack. Now, an over the sink drying rack is perfect for any RV with a small kitchen, which is almost every RV out there with the exception of some fifth wheels. We've used one of these over the sink drying racks in both our 16 foot vintage fiber stream camper and currently in our Airstream Argosy. And it's just great to free up a little extra space. These over the sink drying racks come in at a big whopping $7.97 well worth the eight bucks. Next up are refrigerator bars. If you are at any risk of having stuff fall out of your refrigerator during travel days, these bars are essential. They are tension based, so you can stick them into any size fridge really, and they'll hold things in place, making sure that once you open that fridge after a long travel day, you don't have everything pouring out of it. And these refrigerator bars come in at $8.99. Surprising to me that they're more expensive than the over the sink drying rack, but either way, they're still pretty affordable. Next up is a soap dispenser for a small RV shower. So this solves another problem of stuff flying all over the place. You don't have to carry shampoo and body soap and all that type of stuff in your shower anymore. You can get one of these dispensers, hang them up on the shower wall. In fact, you can get multiple of them, one for soap, one for lotion, one for uh, shampoo, one for conditioner. And these come in at $8.99. Pretty inexpensive in my opinion. Next up is the wraparound RV step rug. If you have the type of RV steps that collapse in store underneath your RV and then you pull them out and then they reappear and you step up, you know, you know how it works. Traditional RV steps. Well, they're notoriously not that stable and they also can get pretty slippery. So these can really help increase the traction on them, make it easier to get in the RV and also gives you a place to wipe your feet off on the way into the RV so you're not tracking in a bunch of dirt. These are gonna set you back $9.65. Next up is a spice jar holder. Again, this goes back to that theme of storing things so they won't shake around and slide around on travel day or just anytime. This spice jar holder will let you store all your spices on the wall, which is gonna save you space and it's gonna make sure that they're not sliding around on some shelf or in some cupboard. So easy way to store spice, bring it along with you on the road, and it's gonna set you back $10.95. Next up is an RV water tank rinser. This RV product won't save your life, but it could extend the life of your RV water heater because sediment collects in the bottom of the tank over time or just through normal use, and it's hard to remove. So this tank rinser will help you clean out that water heater, taking better care of it, and hopefully extending the life of it. It's gonna cost $10.75. Next up is the portable travel clothesline. Now, if you know anything about RVing, you know that you gotta do laundry on the road. Using a laundromat is a pain in the rear end, but sometimes it's a necessary evil. What this drying rack is gonna allow you to do is at least skip one phase of that, wash the clothes, but then bring them back to your RV and hang the drying rack up outside, and then you can dry those clothes in the fresh air of nature, saving some money, saving some time from hanging out in the laundromat. Or also, it could be great for just drying out towels that you use lakeside or poolside. Hang the towels up outside, let them dry up, dry off so they'll be ready for the next use tomorrow. And this portable travel clothesline will set you back $9.99. Next up is an egg holder. Again, this might seem unnecessary until one morning when you're hungry for breakfast and you have nothing but broken eggs. It's a hard plastic carrying case that holds a full dozen. The eggs won't get crushed, you won't go hungry, and you'll have one less mess to clean up. It's going to work a little bit better than just a regular cardboard or plastic egg holder that you're going to get at the grocery store. And it costs $6.80. Next up is a three-in-one sewer hose seal. One of the reasons I love this is because whether you're staying in an RV park, a campground, a city park, you never know what size the hole is gonna be to the black water or the sewer connection. And this is gonna solve all that problem for you. It's got a multi-tiered approach, 
So whether it's small, medium, or large hole that they give you, this will let your sewer hose adapt to that, and this will set you back $8.65. Next up is the Camco wheel chocks. Everyone needs wheel chocks, no doubt about it. I would say that you cannot go RVing without a set of these, so just go ahead and buy some. I don't think I even need to explain any further about why these wheel chocks are necessary, and they'll set you back $8.70 for a pair of two. Last up on our list is the RhinoFlex sewer hose adapter wrench. Now, sometimes it's hard to connect or disconnect a sewer connection. I know I have this happen all the time. I'm using both hands to try to detach this, and this sewer wrench solves that problem. Makes it so much easier to detach a sewer hose connection. Most definitely, where I find this to be the most common problem is just straight from my RV's black water tank. Uh, it, with this wrench, one easy twist will get it right off. I won't have to fight with it every single time. Sewer wrench will set you back $8.06. That's the list of the 11 products. I tried to zoom through it because, you know, no use talking about it too much. Is there a product that you think is necessary that wasn't on this list? 11 bucks or under. You remember, it's got to be that cheap. So let me know what you think. Hopefully this was helpful. Link in the comments, link in the description if you want to check out any of these products in more detail. Thanks for watching today. See you later.